Alrighty, going live. Trying this out to get to see the beefy arms as I do this. Alright, so um what are we doing today? Well we are working on Dragon Puppet. And so I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna stream this. I haven't done a puppet build stream in a while. I've built like three puppets since uh doing everything um since i've done the last puppet build i think and so here we are i'm going to do this for the world to see all right so so far this is the dragon puppet and so if anyone cares oh we got people coming in here so um i'm gonna move this maybe a little bit closer because then that way dragon master i haven't seen you in forever on one of my streams you always show up for one of the puppet builds but anyway here we are so this is the dragon uh so i used i actually just drew this pattern hoping that it would work for what i was looking for and so um if ever you want to replicate this pattern i don't care hey mariella um if you're like i want to build a dragon puppet what you gotta do is uh take a picture of this blow it up however my advice is add about an extra two inches uh, to the bottom of that jaw part there. So this is the top of the skull um, that we're currently working on. Placing it down, I made a mouse plate uh, for the top, and or a pattern, I should say, and the bottom plate uh, for the bottom. And so obviously it'll kind of just sit like so when it's actually not just paper. And it's going to be plastic. So there is a ton of just random junk on the table here that I need to clean off. Because it's just going to get in the way. Because um, like I said, I didn't think I was going to stream. And then I just messaged Punk Waddle and I said, you know what? I'm going to stream this build. Because I haven't done a build stream in a while. And these creative juices are flowing. I don't have anything right now for a life advice with Wilton. A life lesson with Wilton. So, um going with it um this is wilton's have you built all your puppets yes i have built all my puppets um i built uh giggity uh the one that was on the cotton connection i built uh mr cool um i've built another puppet that is going to be revealed in the near future um who else have i built puppets for i feel like there's another one out there anyway yeah, so it, those are who I build for. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what's going on here is we are doing the mouth plates for this. And what's going to happen is obviously I'm going to glue it in and then probably do the mouth plates next. Um, what at some point I'm going to have to do is insert foam into the mouth there uh, just for the hand to sit in that way it's uh, a little bit tighter and feels nice you actually want it snug on the inside no way you're incredible i know yeah oh, yeah yeah so um thanks for the compliment shared a link to certain aviator bedecked arizonians discord sounds great um yeah so that's what's going on here is that so uh anyway what was i doing mouth plates so here we go this is how we do the mouth plate my wife found the old foamy uh cover for the bin that broke so we are going to add it is we're going to have some fun here drawing on some mouth plates cutting them out and then attaching them to the foam. So let me just draw it out here. And what accidentally happens is I get distracted and I'm just building in space. And so um, <laughs> I want to say that I mean, I'm not paying attention to the camera. So if I'm building off screen, then for that, I am sorry. I will try to be aware more than the past. 
that I am doing that. And so, yeah, so that's the mouth plates. Let me mark for myself, top, bottom, that way I don't screw up. Oh, I should do this as well, because I don't want to screw this up. So that's the middle, that's the middle, and so I'm probably going to have to shorten these just because they are longer than I'm probably anticipating, but anyway, all right, that is done. Now I got to grab my tin snips. I use tin snips for plastic. I'm just going to cut it right out in a square, make my life easier. So you probably can't see this on the screen, but this is just the hack job anyway. Right. So this dragon, if you care to know, is going to be simultaneously the big bad in the movie I want to make and the Halloween costume for my family. So my daughter are going to dress up as princesses. My son is going to dress up as a knight. I will have the dragon and we don't know what my wife's going to be. Possibly a queen. And so, let's start on the inside. Come on. Just cut the way I want you to cut. There's plate number one. And plate number two is on its way. So I don't actually have the bottom part of the foam of the jaw made yet. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing it a little bit different than I have in the past, just because I don't want that jaw to have a huge profile. I want it to have one. Got a little bit of a wave on that, but that's okay. All right, garbage. I'm going to save you just in case. And maybe I'll save you too. Save the junk. Here we go. Oh, five people are watching now. The top it's, uh, hey, buddy, if you're working on something, this can be a build stream and you can just join. So if you're working on something, I don't mind. We'll bring you in on the stream. Just say so. I'll send you a link. Uh, and we could talk and build. So anyway, so that's going to sit like so once it's all the way opened up. Might be too big. Yeah, it's too big. But that's okay. All right, so we'll make it smaller. Smaller it is. Um, really? Perfect. Underneath all the popsicle sticks. Not perfect. All right. So, rumor is that Punk Waddle took a job at McMurdo Station in Antarctica in order to serve as a liaison for, to aliens for Stargate Command. All right. I'm actually fixing some puppets. Well, so if you want to join, by all means, feel free. I'm open to it. Um, yeah, where do I want to cut that? I did make it too, way too big, I think. Um... Let's go with right about there. I feel comfortable with that. That's a good line to work with. All right. Is there sewing involved? Oh, there is sewing involved. There is absolutely sewing involved, Mariella. Um, my wife appreciates that I sew. 
<laughs> for all the obvious reasons. All right, let's see here. Um. All right, AJ, I sent you the link. There you go. Uh, yo, Floral from Under a Rock, I'm planning to do some furniture for my tortoise on Wednesday. Ooh, are you going to stream that build? All right. Okay. Huh. I very conveniently cut out the exact part of foamy. I didn't even mean to do that, but I did. Cotton lives matter. It's true, Papa Cotton. It's true. If I see things out of order, I'm sorry. I mean, it happens. All right, so now, how am I doing this, Colts? At this point, I think what I just want to do is just tack that on with the contact cement and make that magic happen. So, scroll down here. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, Toppets is a puppet channel as well. So... He also builds his own stuff. Actually, we're going to be starting to feature some of his stuff on uh, the show on Wednesdays. Give him some love and affection. All right. This is all starting to get gunked up. I don't want too much on here. Okay. Snow is going to be on yelling at parked cars. Yes, he's going to be. Um, although they might have been postponed until Tuesday, if I heard that correctly. Um, and it's going to be on Odyssey. So if you want to see that, there we go. Just give me the, the nod when you're good to go, AJ. You're good? All right, perfect. He's here. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. How are you, man? I'm not too shabby. What were you working on today? Um, we're fixing the old spike up. Oh, what happened just... to him? What battle wound? Oh, it's a little paint job. That's what we're that's what we're doing. Okay, just painting up his eyes, or um, actually his uh, teeth and spikes—they're getting kind of yellow. Gotcha. Yes. So you're working on a dragon costume. You're saying a uh, dragon puppet. That's going to be my costume. Oh, gotcha. So, my wife wanted to do a thematic Halloween, and so I'm like, well, this gives me an opportunity to. Kind of kill two birds with one stone. So, why not? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That would be like a full out costume puppet. No, it's just um, it's gonna be one of the ones where you can just hold it and walk around with it. So, I'm I'm debating on making it big enough that it'll wrap around my body, versus um, yeah. Um, oh, we got snow. Sorry, I'm just seeing who is on the chat. People just jumped in. Uh, Salty, he's here. Snow Dub is here. And okay, there we go. But yeah, you just got a new sub from Mariella. There you go. Oh, wow. Thank you. Let me, let me read the chat in here, too. So I can. Well, at this point, when I'm just doing this, trying to get some of that contact cement dry. Because <laughs> I don't want to blast the, the heater. Oh, so. yeah. 
love that. Yeah, so you're working on uh, when, when a movie as well. You, you're doing um, Winnie the Pooh, right? Yeah, we have a um, Winnie the Pooh show right now out. Oh, we have oh, our, that? okay. Yeah, we have a horror movie that's coming out in October. So a lot of fun stuff we're working on over here. And do you and have everyone live like around you that you work with, or is it all internet? Uh... Um, we have we have some some are my animators are from my Canada in the uk and then i have okay. some people that are voice actors i got from new york okay um but pretty much everybody all my puppeteers all my script writers pretty much everybody is in where i'm from local yeah what about you is it everybody everybody's on your side is all oh positive? everyone's distant so whenever so when we work on our little movie that we're going to try and make the quest for the holy fail so punk waddle gets the name credit on that one um <laughs> it's going to be uh everything's going to be all green screened in because so i might be going around like my area to try and film some things just so i can have like some real world settings and and all that and try and hit different um objects but uh okay yeah. cool it's green screen is like very hard trying trying to get characters that are not there trying to react to each other it's it's difficult it's really difficult it is it is and so like i don't know if everyone saw wait is spike working that blood and honey project no i'm not working on the blood no <laughs> <laughs> that is a great idea i wish i came up with that first you know but no it's um it's like it's a retelling of the Winnie the Pooh stories um, with puppets. So it's just a big, big project we've been working on for five months. And we finally got the pilot episode out. So that's the thing. That's the first episode that's out on the YouTube channel. But yeah, it's the first I'm retelling all the stories without Disney involved with the project. <laughs> Fair oh. enough. Now, apparently, I'm gonna have to sand this. So that sucks because the contact cement said no. <laughs> no way, Jose. Yeah. All right. Where would let's see, just need to get that initial layer off? Here. Yeah. So. so, does your uh, horror project have a cast of real characters of real people? I mean. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a full human cast. There's no puppets or cartoon characters. It's all human actors. Oh, okay. So, so it is a totally different field. It is. It's because uh, I'm used to directing puppets and cartoons, not really human actors, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's a new project. And I like to experiment with my filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I just stick with one topic or one type of brand. Yeah, if anyone else is building on building something too, feel free to uh, join in the stream. Had Andy Masterson on here one time. So yeah, we were talking about doing this a while ago, and I'm glad that you uh, saw the stream. You, you jumped in. Well, when I'm not doing, when not working, I usually watch your live stream. I love watching you guys. Do your stuff, you know. You guys have some very creative ideas. Thanks. All right. I love the last live stream you guys did with Waddle the Penguin. That was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Punk Waddle, he's he's great. He's he's a good sidekick. Does he have his own YouTube channel at all, or is a place that people can follow him? Uh, he's on Twitter. He, on basically, Twitter? like our, the YouTube channel is like we, I consider it our channel. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I still need to give him access to everything, but he hasn't really asked for access to everything. So, <laughs> if, if he wants in, he can have it. Like, that's the thing. I've just got to change some passwords. But, yeah. 
because then he would have access to the email too. So if someone emailed, then he could do that. Um, but no, like basically the moment we start making any money, like it goes as a 50, 50 split. So like our locals thing, like it's 50, 50. So there's a couple things that he wants me to build. So at this point, that money that uh, is his end is going into a pot. And so I'm going to build him a couple new guys to add to the repertoire. Um, yeah, that feels a lot better. That'll probably stick better now too. Maybe I should just give it one more pass though. Um, but yeah, so it's a team effort. So he's, so like a lot of the things that I do, he knows about it long before. Like he's the one, he, he sees all the scripts and all of the uh, songs as we're getting them cranked out. So oh, yeah. he, He's your he's your Frank Oz, you know. I get it. Oh, totally. Yeah, that's probably the best way to say it. He, he's yeah. a Frank Oz. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got I got my own Frank Oz. She does all the producing side. She does all the business. I just create. So I, I, I'm guess I'm more her Frank Oz, and she's more the Jim Henson, I guess. But yeah. What is the partnership? That's the key. Oh yeah. Well. I totally get it. Yeah. Uh, here we go. It's just a, oh, that sounds like fun. Will there be a fleshy sacrifice? A fleshy sacrifice of what, Mariella? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to that too. AJ, you're, what you said, you're, you're 19, right? 20? Uh, 19. 19, yeah. yeah. So when you guys see everything that he's doing, remember, he's just a young buck. Yeah, a young buck that has 15 shows under his name and one movie. So there you go. Yeah. A spring chicken with yep. something behind him. I'm like destroying this pad here. I thought this was going to last a lot longer, and that's why I got it. We just launched a teaser trailer for my new show coming out this December. It's my first fuller, first proper fully animated film. Oh yeah, film. It's called Ian the Incredible Turkey. Ian the Incredible Turkey. Yes. Nice. It's it's a show making fun of all the superheroes. You know, making fun of Iron Man, making fun of Superman. Yeah. Make fun of underdog, all, every everything superhero related. We're gonna make fun of it, and and, and it's and it got the views have been crazy about it already. Like I can't believe that just the teaser trailer got more views than a normal topic show episode or Spike Fox. Okay, so it's just incredible. People are, want to see these new projects and see people make fun of old things. Yep. So. Well, if, if you do it in a in a way that both shows honor reverence and just like don't care, people are gonna soak it up, right? Yeah. Like back in when SNL was really good, like they knew how to show show respect to a, a thing, but uh, still like <laughs> totally roast it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm going to rinse these off real quick in the sink behind me, so feel free to vamp for two seconds. I'll hear everything. But... All right. I'm going to turn on the lights. It looks like a ghost on camera. <laughs> oh, 19 years old. Oh, my God. I see you. <laughs> Uh, it just takes a lot of practice and a lot of hard work to be me. I look, I still look like a ghost. Holy cow. There we go. Now I'm popping. Yeah, I just want to wash off all of the uh, bits. The sanding. The piece is basically cooked. All right. Now I need to wipe off the desk, and this piece of foam's going to. Do that just good and perfect.
So yeah, there was a while there where uh, the, the one character I wanted to make was Crying Felter. Um, and just basically read Brian Stelter's scripts. <laughs> and uh, But then he got canned, so now I'm like, ah, I don't know what to do next. So I think I'm going to work on my bad guy next. Or, or a different bad guy, like kind of like a pinky in the brain bad guy. Oh yeah, he just wants to take over the world. We we just created a new character to be like the bad guy of the Toppets cinematic universe. Yep, and it's it's really something. I you there's usually like grumpy characters we have, or but this is like our first like violent, not very violent, but really out there. So I'm really excited for people to see it. Mm-hmm come out we're at we're ending the show the pocket show at episode 50 for season one okay and we're going to take a year break uh, okay it will make all it'll make all sense when you see the final episode it's gonna you, you, you think it's a normal variety show but it gets kind of more i my, my plan is to have the show more like rick and morty or something yeah. like that wackiness so right now i'm trying to get people used to the wackiness of the topics and more I'm trying to get away from the, the, the sitcom, not sitcom, variety show kind of format. Gotcha. But I want people to get, I, that was my plan. People to get, people love the Muppet show. So it's yep. good. Like, let's get people comfortable with the Muppet, the Toppets, because something they know already. Yep. And then let's, let's jump into wackiness. Let's jump into some Rick and Morty sci fi adventures. So it's really, I'm really it's excited. Creating that bridge, basically, is what you were doing. I am. I really am. That was just the Toppet show, was just a format for you to understand. Who are these characters? And what's their plan for the future? You say so you know all their personalities, all their you know all these infra characters before you meet the real topic show. You know? Gotcha. Yeah. So it's really it's gonna be a more Star Trek, Rick and Morty. Some weird stuff is gonna happen, time travel. So that's all the spoilers I have for season two. It's gonna be kind of weird stuff. Nice. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of tired of writing the variety show format, you know? Yep. It gets boring usually, and it's just, I just feel like a knockoff Muppet show. But that was the plan for you guys, people, for people to understand who these characters are before you see the real Toppet show. Well, Tiny Metal Trees, if you're crafting something, you can uh, feel free to join the stream too. I don't mind. Oh, we got Mrs. Flu here. And. I didn't see her there. Um, I don't think I missed anything else. I'm hoping I had enough contact cement on this. And hopefully my sanding works. Because that's the thing I hate about mouth plates. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could use the gasket that I have, but I want the mouth to be a little bit more of that rigid kind. Oh, who's that? Oh, this is Lady Otter. She's in our Winnie the Pooh show. Oh, okay. She's our ba random background character. Um, my the, one of the puppeteers went crazy on set with her and ripped her neck, so I was just stitching her up. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, she looks really good on her face, like the way you did the the muzzle and stuff. Thank you. That it was a, a lot of struggle and error. There was a lot. I don't know. <laughs> so I have tons of just cheeks. This are in a drawer. So if I ever make a rat or something, I can have extra. Yeah. But it was trying to get that perfect, not too big and not too small, just the right size for her, her snout. Mm -hmm. You can see Lady Otter on the pilot episode of the Winnie the Pooh show on my YouTube channel. There you go. There's a little plug. <laughs> huh. We're very close to hit 300 subscribers, actually. We just need one more to hit it. So that's really exciting. Oh, well, there you go, folks. Oh, yeah, there's a little more plug. Tip them over. Tip them <laughs> over. Here, I'll find the channel link here, and I'll make sure it happens, because someone will do it for you. <laughs> oh, we just hit it. We just hit it. Oh, my gosh. Well, there you go. There we go. We I, now we have a, well, we have three hundred and one subscribers. That's congratulations! Awesome. Wow, Mariella was three hundred. Someone else was three hundred one. So there you go. 
So many do you got? Let's take a little look. Uh, three fifty-eight. I was at last. Oh yeah, you're pretty so, close to four hundred. Close. We're we had a big surge after I had uh, legal mindset on the show. Um, he posted our uh, <laughs> on his channel. He posted a snippet of the pretty baller for a lawyer. Oh yeah, and. Uh, so a bunch of people came over from that. And then I don't know if everyone was from that or not, but oh, Mrs. Flu is 302. And there's the rhyme for the night, folks. There's the rhyme for the night. Oh, man. There hey, you did go. you see that e the email I sent of all the. Um, yeah, I saw the link. Yeah. 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 Just making sure. I've just been so busy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, did I send in the, those videos? You I don't did. Okay. Did. I saw it there. Yeah. Okay. I just haven't had a chance to open it. All right. So how is this going to stick? Oh, I don't want to super glue it. That sounds like overkill. What, what are you super gluing? What uh, it, with the mouth plate. It just does <laughs> the contacts that just does not want to stick to the uh, plastic for some reason on this one side. It's sticking okay on the other, but not on this side. So you, you can put super glue on it, but don't put too much on it. So it'd be like, you get bubbles and stuff. You don't want that. Yeah. Oh no, you wouldn't even see the bubbles though, because it's like because it's right in here, right on, oh, right on this spot. Okay. Yeah. So you, you definitely do that. Yeah. It's just it's just such overkill. <laughs> <laughs> um, where did I? Put it? Somewhere around here under all the crap. Hit my face, folks. Um, where did I stick it? I know it's on the desk. I know that much. I, or at least I'm 95% sure it's on the desk. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to get the paper out of the way. Oh, it is on the desk. It's right here. I found it, folks. I found the super glue. Um, Pros, oh, prosecute me, baby, is what she was trying to say. Pros, I don't think Mrs. Flew meant to say pros use me, baby, because that's weird. Um, someone should tell her husband about that, but that pros use her. I mean, he would laugh at that. Sup, pup and pals. How you doing, Ironcaster? What's up, Doc? My desk is literally a mess right now. There's like hot glue sticks and throwing needles everywhere. I cleaned everything up properly, I want to say, a week and a half ago. And then I built the most recent puppet that is being shipped to the U.S. It's in the middle of transit right now, and I haven't cleaned up since. And, yeah. <laughs> I have a plan I need to ship, and it's, just been, it's been five months. I haven't shipped it. It's like, literally in this box, all ready to go. <laughs> and that's it. I haven't. It's been five months I, since I built it. Are they mad at you? No, they said, take your time. I'm like, yeah, I'll take my time. <laughs> Fair enough. If they don't care. I, I, I didn't get paid yet, so. See. Oh, well, then, yeah. yeah. No payment, no shipment. So it's been sitting there. We need the money. We need the money. How do, you, <laughs> how do you typically bill? I mean, depending on the size of the pro project, I'll just get the stuff and then explain after how much it was. But uh, typically, I'll price it all out and then say 50% up front just to cover cost of materials because in worst case scenario if they don't pay for it then uh, <laughs> I have a puppet that I didn't have to pay to build and then obviously it gives them incentive to pay the rest of the way and then uh, before a shipment I ask for the other 50% including the shipping mm -hmm. so how do you do it 
Well, first I figure out what kind of puppet it is. In my, is this going to be a live hand puppet? Is this going to be a snack puppet? Is it going to be a rod puppet? A costume puppet? Is it going to be a marionette? Is it going to be a stop motion puppet? I figure that out first before yeah. I even think about anything else. Man, this thing is falling apart. Just I can put my finger through it. Um, and then I figure out the materials and I price that out. And then I just tell them what the price is. And then if they would say, oh, that's too expensive for me. And then I'll find a cheaper version. Yep. And then I, and then we decide on the price, and then I build it. And that's pretty much all that, you know. All right. Okay. If it's if it's one hundred dollars, you're gonna pay me. It's gonna look like shit, you know. Well, sorry, yep. mine a lot out. <laughs> I try to keep it PG thirteen, but if it pops okay. out, it pops out. <laughs> oh man, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. It happens. Oh. All the time. <laughs> so. But if, if if it if you want a good quality puppet, then you gotta put you gotta throw some money at it. You know, I'm not I'm not putting my heart and soul in something that's not, I'm not gonna get paid a lot. No, fair enough. I hear you. All right, I don't want to put that toothpick back in with all those other toothpicks. That would be stupid. All right. Okay, so that mouth plate is attached and the mouth is there oh there we go so that's the apparently no one can see anything um floral needs more booty breaks i am not putting in booty breaks so anyway so that that's gonna sit like that and he's gonna he's gonna talk like this once i is he gonna have a horn on his nose that'd be cool i haven't decided on those kinds of details uh, I've I've literally just came decided that uh, what I want to try and do is have a mechanism so that when I lean forward with my hand, mm -hmm. there's like a pulley down here that's going to go up to the wings, so that when he moves his neck, the wings kind of move a little bit. Oh, that's so, cool. So I don't know how it's going to work or if it'll work, but I want to try it. And so you know so, what you could do. So it's so you're gonna have like the head. So this is the head right here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna have like a little sliding thing, you know? It's gonna be kind of because you're gonna have like I don't know, explain it. Um, <laughs> so, so, your thing, so this is like a, there's gonna be a knob here, and then it's gonna, you know, yeah, then, yeah, a slider, yeah, yeah, the slider, and it's gonna the pressure is gonna have the wings now, it's not gonna go. Pfft, but it's, you can have a wiggle, you know. You can yeah, have... that's kind of what I want. So, okay. so basically, like the amount of range range that the wings would get would be enough of me moving my my arm. Yes. So the the furthest extent. So if I'm straight, then those wings can go either up or down. However, the the mech ends up working, right? Yes. So that way you get just that movement. So that when the the head is up, the wings are I guess more like this. I, I... wings. Yeah. Right, so head, right, that kind of thing. So yeah. the further down it goes, the further out they go. And then to make it so that I can actually, because obviously if the wings are always extended, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So have just a way that I can collapse the wings yeah, and uh, like button them close or whatever so that I can have that. I'm humming and hawing on maybe making them spring-loaded. Oh, wow, that's going to be... But that would be way too much, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so. well, that's, weird. that's gonna be like a couple months project right there. Get a lot of trial and error. Well, there's another thing you could do, and it's it's you need a, you need another performer. And I'm thinking you don't need a. You're, this is gonna be a Halloween costume, so it's like it won't work then. No. Uh, so the more performers I need, the less likely it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, here we go. Okay, so I got that part of the mouth attached. So that's a win. Then we just need another piece of foam. Now, I think for the jaw, I'm going to use half inch, just because, again, I don't need it to be as thick, but I want it to have a little bit of definition, and then I can just slide my thumb in. I don't have to worry about it. So choppity choppity. Okay, and 
do the oh that cut right there is like almost perfect so that's what we're gonna that's what we're going to work with I'm gonna minimize my cutting all right Probably should have made that just a smidgen bigger. But I'm an idiot. And so here we are. It's not like I have a ton of other foam I could use, but I don't care. All right. That'll work. Okay. Well, let's see how it let's see how it fits once we glue on. So are those ostrich feathers on the top there? What'd you use? Oh yeah, they're fake fake ostrich feathers. I try not to use real animals. For oh come on! Are you vegan? No, no. Good. <laughs> then I'd have to make fun of you. No, uh, but Spike is a vegetarian, and I, that's that's fun. I, I do a lot of jokes with that. That's funny. <laughs> But no, I'm not, I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. I'm just, I don't know. It, it just feels weird to use like a, a living animal part for a felt puppet. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're fake. They're, they're all fake. Yeah. This is Petunia, the pussycat. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know I've seen her. She she she's in charge of the show, or yeah, I believe so. I don't know. How. It's my 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 Frank guys. She performs her. Mm -hmm. She does an excellent job. She's a British cat that bosses around people on the show. That sounds appropriate. Oh, we got Daniel. There's something a bit disturbing about watching open puppet surgery. Depends. It is. Though it depends. It's a lot of fun. I got a lot of puppets to fix up today. I got I to gotta fix Winnie the Pooh's jacket. It's cool. Okay, that's going to dry faster. Don't have to worry about that one. Just need to dry this one. So I think I'm going to use the velvet, the red velvet to make the, or for the inside of the mouth of the dragon. That's still too wet. All right, so as I'm playing this out of my head, so that's gonna sit like this, the bottom mouth is gonna sit like that, the, Red velvet's gonna stay in there. I'm thinking, kind of like Wilton, I'm gonna use a strip of foam to kind of come down, just to kind of give the upper lip of the dragon. So it's not just that normal, just yeah, mouth plate fleece. It's gonna have that ridge, and then that way I can kind of create like that nice kind of loop right there. Kind of like what you see on the T Rex, actually. You guys, you guys got a T Rex? What? That, am I missing something? No, like you know how, like how, like on oh. um, Jurassic Park, it has like that the the lip line. Okay, let me get it. Let me get. It. I actually have an action figure of the T Rex. Let me see what you're talking about. No, oh. oh, drunk three PO's here. Hello, drunk 3PO. I am honored. Yeah, so there you go. So you see the how, how it lips down there? Oh, okay. So, so there's that. So when you open it up, right, how the, the, the top of the jaw there, 
the mm-hmm. top part of the mouth, it does that, the sag. I want to replicate that for the dragon mouth. Okay, I get it. You know what I you know what I just like about puppeteers these days? So people take like these Jurassic Park toys and then they 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 do this and they call it puppet puppetry. Where they take an action figure and they they whip it around or stuff animal. That's what I hate about online puppeteers these days. Well, there we go. So that's gonna be kind of how he how he looks. Except it's coming apart again at the freaking back. <laughs> Super glue. Here we go. No one special. Well, you know what, Jay? You are special to your mom. Your mom thinks you're special. And if she doesn't, Jesus thinks you're special. All right. There we go. Okay. Super glue, do your magic. <laughs> Going to smush her down. And we got Andy Masterson in the house again. So, Andy, if you're building something, feel free to join. I will send you the link. Just say so. And we can uh, three the party. On a Monday night, was everyone's on here? Like, well, I mean, it's 11 people, but you know what I mean. All right. Okay. So I'm going to probably have to chop out a little bit of wiggle room for the thumb. It's a little tight because, like I said, I should have made it wider. But play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Here we are. Winning a stupid prize. Do you make all your patterns yourself? Or do you like... Okay. Uh, Well, okay. So it depends on what it is. So... Um, the punk waddle puppet when I made, oh yeah, there you go, Mariella. I made punk waddle as well. Um, the punk waddle I ripped off of Adam Krutinger. I was like, yeah, I'm going to make something similar to that. And so I just, uh, went for it. Um, and then, so like the rest of them, oh, I guess the snoof pattern is, uh, the rat. Yes. But again, modified. Um, Mulinda floral. Well, floral is a modified version of Adam's free head. A very modified version. Wilton is straight scratch. Fredneck is straight scratch. And obviously, this dragon is straight scratch. Straight from scratch. Mm, Coco is a uh, Adam puppet. So most of them are my own. All right. Eh, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I was just yeah, no. curious about. Uh, well, it's a lot of puppeteers. I don't have shame about it. Yeah. Um, My puppets so. are all all homemade scratch patterns. It's just... Except for your fish one. That came from someone else, right? No, the, f- the fish cat? No, not the, f- the alien guy. Um, the the alien. Mon- sea monster guy. Oh, um, I, did not, I did not make him. My... No, you got him from a friend in Russia or something. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, the, pu- the puppets that I made, yeah, I, they're all, but there's like some puppets that I, there he is. Hello there. Yeah. I love, that I love him. He looks great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to stick around and maybe, maybe ask me questions, folks. Ask me questions. Oh, excuse me. I just tooted on, li- on live stream. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. He's a great character. I, I want to do more with him on the topic show, but I haven't mm-hmm. found like, the best thing for him, you know? I was thinking about doing like his own show, but I think about it, it could be animated. But what's I the feel point? Like he's of- a science monster or the science officer. The science officer? <laughs> he's definitely the science officer. Not very smart, but I'll take it. That's why it's funny. <laughs> ah. What's What's going going on here? Uh, Puff going to have a relative? I don't know if it's going to be Puff's relative. Um, Is it Puff the Magic Dragon? It's uh, it's that's basically what he is. Um, Two celebrities here. Nice. Who's uh, do 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 do? We got celebrities. The Rock's here. Is the Rock here? 
I'm magnetizing sombreros. Andy, why aren't you in here? I want to see you magnetizing sombreros. I'm gonna send you. That sounds like great content. Why is that? Why am I not watching that? Jeez. Right. Yeah. Everyone should be watching him magnetize sombreros. That, that sounds like amazing. You should have a Netflix show. <laughs> All about magnetizing sombreros. Exactly. Um, Andy, where are you? There you are. Boom. If he coming? I don't know. I sent him the link. If he comes, he comes. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, where? If he here? And what's his name again? Mary this is Alexander. Swampy. This is Swampy. swampy. Right. Yes. I knew that. Yep, that, that's Swampy. He was the second character, or no, technically the, the third character in the top of its cinematic universe I made. There was a character named T-Jar, and then Spike, and then Swampy. And then everything came after that. When I made when I made Swampy, I did not make that Swampy, but the original Swampy, I was like trying to figure out the opposite of Spike. Mm -hmm. Spike is the sweet, innocent... The antithesis. Yeah, trying to find the anti-Spike, and that's what Swampy. <laughs> trying to even it out, you know? Trying to find this and the nasty sick. Yep. Yeah. And I was trying to figure out what kind of creature, like it should it be like a like a Sasquatch or maybe like a Loch Ness monster. And then I'm like, what about like a monster dog, a devil dog? And then I'm like and I was watching Creature from the Black and Green and I'm like, yeah, let's let's make him a swamp monster. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's that's the opposite of Spike is Swampy. And then we have another opposite of Spike and it's Wildcat. So it's like other opposite of Swampy. Wildcat's really cool. Who we got? Oh, we got snacks and comics. How you doing, buddy? This is Wildcat. Oh yeah, okay. I, I think I've seen that one before. Oh yeah, I, have, I haven't posted them on any any of my videos yet. How you haven't? You? No. No. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> then I'm thinking of something else then. Wait. Mm. Mm. Nice. He's one of the bad guys of the top of show. He hasn't made an appearance yet, but he is. No, I was thinking I was thinking of a different thing. Um okay. I was actually thinking of Adam's little red guy, his little alien guy. Oh yes, yes. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um that's what I th was thinking of. Okay. Uh, except that one has like curly hair. Um okay. So now I want to do that ridge line. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. So I think I think. Let's see how long is this? Okay, so if I if I want to use craft foam. I haven't tried using craft foam on a puppet yet, so I'm going to do it. Um, skip. So that's the line there, and I'm gonna cut that, and then I'll cut it twice. So this I know will stick with contact cement no matter what. So that one's safe, but oh, but that's going to be the issue right there. How will I rectify that? Hmm. So I'm going to have to build that out a little bit with some foam. The thing might be heavy. <laughs> I'm getting scared. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Going to take this and cut it. Man, we got 13 viewers on this. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we do. Hello, 13 viewers. It means we're so popular. Oh. So cool right now. Because, like, you know. Who else has anything better to do than watch two guys work on puppets, huh? Yeah. That's what I watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you were here. Um but I, I was I was just scrolling on YouTube and I'm like, oh, I was I was watching Marvel videos. I swear, like, oh, I swear. He's live. I should watch this guy. Watch my boy. 
All right. Okay, so I think I will let you speak into it, chat. I will let you speak into it. Um, just pin that phone in there so you can kind of get the visual for it. Actually, I know where I'll put that, where I'll do the string, because the string will push it out enough. Don't get stabbed. Don't get stabbed. All right. So that's how that's going to sit, I think. So so that way he has like that, that lip, like T-Rex. Yeah. What do you guys think? Looks like he has a mustache. Well, right now, yeah, until it's all <laughs> fleece. Um, you know what you should do? Have, make him... I'll bring on Swampy again. He has like that that lip. There's just, there's, so there's just a foam right here. Just a foam lip. Yeah. Maybe you should maybe you should have like a little more like a like a, like a bouncy off lip. You know, like that like the otter has. Oh, yeah. No. Know, I'm like gonna that. Add, yeah. I'll attach yeah. The, the string along, or the rope along here okay. to give it that same kind of ridge line. Um, Icarumba. We got Pando. Um, I was going to work on some of my puppet projects, but I have eating editing to to foe. All right, so go look on editing. I was, I just edited some episodes this morning. Yeah, I edited four four episodes of the topic show. So editing uh, one. That was editing is a lot of work. So anyway, so you think so? You're just saying add just the ridge to to the slip. Yeah. Uh, so just to complement this is what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So again, this is all going to be covered by fleece, folks. Um, the red of the velvet is going to kind of rest up against here, which will give it some rigidity. Again, I'm going to put some string just in here to keep it light, and that way I can really control it. And yeah, so then he'll. Uh, Lover. Is it going to be like? realistic or like or is it gonna be kind of like more like muppish muppish uh, hybrid 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 I, I don't know what the word i'm looking for is a convergence <laughs> <laughs> link isn't working what andy i'll just send it again S send it through email because i i get it i what i do i i had trouble trouble getting on here so what i did is send it I just send my that link to, through email and it worked there. It didn't work through Instagram, like you send it through. So I just try to set, try to send it to him on like email or Discord or something like that. I got him on Twitter, so I sent it on here. Um, I don't know. What, what, what if you right click it and copy link address and then just throw it in a browser, Andy? There we go. So anyway, so that's that's gonna be that. So I'm gonna grab. I need that rope. All right, it's just right behind me. Right. I guess I mean, this is the one I'm using. Drunk 3PO, get Gina to watch. She might enjoy puppet making. <laughs> um, okay. So I will snip this here. So I'm not going to lie. Last time I saw this rope, I actually thought it was uh, brown, but it's actually green. So. so fun tip or fact, folks, not tip. I'm actually red, green, colorblind. Not like super bad, but bad enough that 
when I'm looking at things that are like right in that range, which this, depending on light, is definitely right in that range. Like on screen, it definitely looks brown to me, but in person, it's looking green. So. Another dice, huh? There we go. Unless, because Andy, there was two links that I had, or a previous link that I sent like back in May. So hopefully you didn't click the May link. Like and share, folks. Um, okay, Andy, I think you're on Instagram, so I'll send it on Instagram. Andy Masters. Thought I had you. Andy, are you on Instagram? <laughs> Private account. I don't think that's Andy. All right. Andy, I'm just putting it in the link in the uh, chat. So just click that. There we go. You said yes, he's on Instagram. He's, yes. Yeah. Okay. Just click it off the chat from there, Andy. See what happens. <laughs> I mean, anyone can now join technically, but um, whether you get in or not is up to me. So. If I think you're cool and you want in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> but a big, but a boom. Oh, I see the sombrero idea. Okay. Okay. I dig it. Oh, it's the sombrero guy. We can't, we can't hear him. You're mute. I don't think, I don't think his, his mic is connected. Okay. Your thing is not connected. Oh, there we go. You just, you just got to turn your volume up a little bit there, Andy. How's that? Better. better. Okay. And yeah, go like this. There we go. Because <laughs> now we can see everything. I was hiding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, time for some iron tacos. Yeah, man. That's looking great. This is just a repaint. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Two Mexican Iron Men and two sombreros. You should have like a taco in one hand. Uh, well, I did the... Um, uh, he ordered these last year, and I had all kinds of problems getting these bodies. <clears throat> so I, um, I went and built him a Darth Poppy figure, which is what okay. everybody calls him when he's in, on a Star Wars chat. So he does, you know, Darth Poppy. So he, uh, I made him a Sith speeder with a droid on the back that cooks tacos. It's got a little, like a little, uh, grill on the back and like little, little bins for all of his, his toppings and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was pretty cool. And to kind of like hold things over, um, and I sent him one of these, like, um, he's sending these two out as gifts. So, uh, just trying to get them done. It's been forever. I feel horrible. I've kept him waiting so long. Then I got all distracted and stuff and, you know, excuses, excuses. We, we get them. We get them. We got it. So how are you holding up otherwise, Andy? Not bad. Not bad. Digging the uh, the whole puppet screen. That's pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been able to do it. So, or at least, yeah. Well, I guess yeah, able to do it because the the one was doing giggity for Piper, and so that one we were keeping under wraps. So I didn't put that on stream. And then there's the one where we're gonna do the face reveal of a I think certain the last, individual. The last one I was watching was Melinda. Yeah, I love that uh, the video with her in a uh, comics division too. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> no me, oh, save me. <laughs> I'm. I, I was really pleased with how it turned out. I was really so at the Vegas meetup that everyone was at. 
um toxic man flu was supposed to hook me up with a whole bunch of videos just of him candidly right and uh he got caught so it didn't work um. <laughs> and then uh he found that i specifically wanted them to propose just randomly to nothing so i could just like put mulinda in it <laughs> <laughs> he outright refused made me so sad yeah like i know something's up with that <laughs> but it was great nonetheless my daughter heard that plane and she was like what are you listening to <laughs> <laughs> So How do you explain it. that one? <laughs> uh, at this point, well, I don't know if you saw the uh, the video we put up last night from on Doomcock show. <laughs> that was no. um, that was pretty funny. What was we the did video? a whole cooking segment? Oh, okay. With your daughter? Oh no, no. This was me, Gary, Ambrosian, Rancor, Steve. Oh, okay. and uh, it was. Uh, I'll shoot you the link. It was pretty funny. No, I was gonna watch last night and then uh, I got caught up doing something. I can't remember what it was. Oh, excuses, excuses. I know, I know, <laughs> but it's, it, it's a legitimate excuse. I, do, I just don't remember what it was. I because the kids were sleeping. I don't know. Maybe I was just tired. <laughs> it could just be that. Oh no, because I finished Culture's video, his ad. I don't know. Maybe I was daydreaming about my script. I don't know. Can't remember now. There, I just DM'd it to you. All right. <coughs> peek at it. Um, but yeah. So, did you like my uh, cup of resin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, another, a thing you can do is like before you you cast. Uh, put your resin in the fridge. Uh, yeah, actually, you should keep it refrigerated. It'll help it last longer. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's the heat that that causes the reaction. Oh, so, okay. Uh, or helps with the reaction anyway. Yeah. Um, That's good to know, though. But no, yeah. I, so I'm gonna the next time I get uh, resin, I'm gonna use tr try that slow going stuff that you shot the link over <clears throat> yeah there's that and, there's, and the other stuff that i was using the um uh i went with this uh because gary uh, my friend gary he was um he worked in hollywood for about 15 years like in you know as like and he learned from all these old prop guys and um man guy knows his stuff and like materials and whatnot uh yeah. he built like one of the pirates of caribbean movies like he he built the entire captain's cabin yeah um, and all that stuff so he was um telling yeah like uh using a vacuum pump for the molds uh, for the silicone to take out all the air bubbles first then it makes it really really dense and then you can take your resin and you put that inside of a pressure pot and it pushes all of your air bubbles out yeah so that was great everything has been coming along much better drunk 3po just got his uh, his action figure one of his uh members hired me to make him a very special birthday present. So it's a uh, drunk 3PO as Indiana Jones. Oh, so it's not because I know he just got the other one not long ago either. <clears throat> well, I, I sent him one last year. Um, it just took him that long to open it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, this one just got to him. Uh, let's see. Because I sent him one uh, about this time last year, probably probably May last year. No, no, it wasn't May um probably like june and then um uh around christmas time i sent him uh a figure just of himself like asleep on a couch because that that mean they had yeah so I, I built a couch and sent it along to him uh then um this this girl dawn she she hired me to uh uh, back in february so what i did was i got a whole bunch of things together and um did a new uh um new head sculpt and everything so yeah here's this here's an unpainted version of it oh nice dude you're so good 
Thank you. It's a. Uh, I'm getting there. Like uh, here's let's see. Um, where did I put the? Uh, oh, here you go. Here's a painted version of it. Oh wow, dude, that's amazing. Yeah, did you hear the uh, Hasbro is making a uh, photo of pictures of action figures of people? So you just like just scan your face and they make an action figure of you. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, and there's, uh, I mean, <clears throat> they started doing that back in. <clears throat> um, Attack of the Clones, when that came out in Star Wars, uh, Hasbro started getting the technology. They scanned in Christopher Lee's face and Tamora, Tamora Morrison's face, and they um, and they made some pretty uh, pretty good things on there. Um, and it's you can there's private companies that can do that. You like yeah. roll, you just scan your face and uh, they they make them. I've seen some of the results and they're eh, they're a bit iffy. Um, I like doing doing it old school, just by sculpting things by hand and and putting it together like that. Yeah, I get it. So. I'm I was very excited about it because I'm a, now I I can have a Ghostbuster action figure myself. You know how cool yeah. that is. That the um there's things on uh what you call it um Thingiverse for the yes. uh, so I work with like this guy here um the Iron the Mexican Iron Man. Okay, so. Mark Smith, like he, he's, you'll see him in the chats, Mark S47. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are looking for anything that like, you know, with some of your stuff that needs electronic work, reach out to him because he does amazing things. Like check this out, hang on a second. All right, so just enough charge left in this, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah! Grab a chicken. No, 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 what are you talking about? I'm a tortilla escapo. You first the rabbit or the chicken? The tortilla escapo. So, so we got um, you know the the base and like, and I'll I'll put a. Uh, a piece of plastic over this and that'll actually because the the speaker is actually a little bit harsh with this and so it'll it'll muffle it just a little bit and um i do do some graphics on top of it with the cricket machine and so all i have to do is the box lids uh finish up the uh the sombreros tonight i got to finish up the box lids tonight and send them out tomorrow morning <clears throat> so that's amazing like you will have his um his other mexican iron man and then I have my the rest of my list that I have to do, which always seems to grow. But that's a good sign. Yeah. Because if that list, list ain't growing. Yeah. All right. So what I'm trying to do, and I'm hoping that it shows up, which I'm pretty confident it will with the velvet, is I'm going to tack it down with hot glue the velvet so i can follow the ridge line because you know how like when you see like the, the opening of like a roof of the mouth it has the ridge lines so i'm gonna try and create like that ribbing and how about way... if you if you cut like pieces of foam and kind of like gently overlap them would that give you the ridge line without actually making the ridge to be honest with you i was thinking just because they're the right size almost just using yeah. the toothpicks there you go because it's because it's thin enough and i don't have to work it too hard yeah. so save a step yep why work hard when you can work lazy right <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i'm so glad you guys both came on because uh Andy, we had said that we need to do this again sometime. Yeah. And TJ, we were saying that we just need to do this, period. <laughs> so, yeah. So here we are. I'm not building yeah. anything. I'm just fixing stuff. That counts. That counts. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I'm, I'm done for building for a while now. For myself. That attitude, yeah. <laughs> for myself. I'm done building, building for myself. I, I have too many. Yeah, too many. But next year, I'm gonna rebuild most most of my characters. Like Spike, he's getting 
too old. I'm going to build like three of them. All the same. That scares me for the day where I have to rebuild floral because I didn't keep any of those patterns. Because I'm an idiot, obviously. I I only have spikes patterns, but the rest of them I do not. Because some of them are pretty old. And Spike, I just re, Spike was just remade a couple of years ago, like two years ago. So yeah, it's, it's time for a, re, a rebuild of Spike. I, I'm worried about finding the material because I, I had to dye the fleece to get this mm -hmm. color. So that's going to be the difficult. I don't remember how much gray I put in it, or I mean black. I don't know how much black I put in it. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Master, if you want to come on, you, you feel free to come on. <laughs> Links in the chat. <laughs> The link is in the chat. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Doing anything? Come on, I love that. That's what I'm worried about. It's because it, I, I can't. Spike's not gray, and he's not black. He's pencil lead gray. I had to get that. I had to get that exact color of gray for Spike. Be right, be right back. I gotta go Dremel. <laughs> sounds good. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Depending on what you're doing, it could be. Anyway, there we go. There's the super glued ridges of the mouth. Oh, there we go. There's Dragon Master. Oh, he put on a Kermit logo. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> You're really quiet. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, uh, there you go. Second. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, you just picked up. Oh no, I can hear my own voice. Oh no. <laughs> Do you not have headphones on? <laughs> oh no, I can hear my own voice. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well oh, done, Dragon. Well I done. have them on, but I can hear them on someone else's end. You can hear them on someone else's end? I think it's Spike. Oh, is it me? Here, I'll. I'll talk and we'll see what happens. Here, I'll, I'm just going to mute you, Spike, and then we'll see what happens. There we go. Did it go away? La 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Yeah, I think it's you, Spike. <sighs> <laughs> For some reason, just all of a sudden. That is weird. Okay, now to do that bottom lip. Weird. What were you dremeling, Andy? Is he, is he back now? He was there, and then he, he was there. And then he... <laughs> <laughs> nope, we don't hear anything now. We're good. Yay! Right. Oh, now I hear it. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I just got to talk loud so no one notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That'll solve it. Yeah. All the problems in the world. Right. Got to talk loud. Just, you know what, maybe, maybe I don't want it to be the full distance. No, I want the full distance. I'll take it back. Oh. I don't know if am I hearing Andy's drum? Yeah. Yeah. There was the echo, I heard it again. But it's all good. It's not it loud enough clicking? that it matters. No, I was actually I heard that. Yeah. But oh, it's all okay. good. It's all good. Maybe it's me I'm hearing? Or are you guys hearing it still? No, it's not me. I'm not hearing myself. Maybe it's me I'm hearing? Or are you guys hearing it still? I'm hearing it right now. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Doesn't matter. Cool. So, anyway, so this is, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call the dragon. I'm not looking for name suggestions right now, folks. Oh, I was, was going to give you some. <laughs> <laughs> We were planning to have a here. Starting to look, because it's it's and it's light enough that it's not gonna be intruding 
on anything. So that makes me happy. But this is also going to give me kind of that nice ridge line too up on the top. Hey, Floral, right. you're echoing on my end. I'm echoing? Yeah. I don't know how. I have my headphone in. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Moving on. Maybe it's my computer. Uh, Are you on computer? Yeah. Uh, I just plugged it in. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I was worried. I was very, I was very worried. Yeah. Uh, I just... <laughs> okay. I did this too soon. Whatever. Are you, Are you still there? Yeah. Uh, just echoing and stuff like that. Oh, we that. got tiny metal trees. Let's see what happens. Are we getting more people in here? How's it going, tiny metal trees? <laughs> Oh, there's more echoing. Yeah, more echoing. yeah we see you. <laughs> You're oh. live. <laughs> Don't hear you though. Yeah, we we cannot hear you. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, dude, that's stellar. That's a tree. I like trees. <laughs> Still can't hear you, but yeah, you, you gotta push the the microphone thing. You know where it is? It's like it's right there. It's right there. Oh. Uh, right there yes actually tiny metal trees you and andy should uh work on something with metal trees is like a slideshow right now it's like stop motion he's like <laughs> all right okay so there's the uh pre velvet mouth that's how that's gonna kind of sit also hi jay if you're still watching Oh, he's showing us this tree. Look at this tree. Yeah, no, those are stellar. That's, that's incredible. Is that is it made out of metal? It's like wire. Yeah, it's, okay. I don't know why I keep saying stellar, but I just think that that's really cool looking. Oh, oh he left. Oh. Dragon Master. Oh, the, they died. Goodbye. Thanks for coming on, folks. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, man. I'm going to wet myself. Man. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> Yeesh. All right. Oh, Dragon Master's back. You're alive I again. I, I think I know why I was echoing. Oh, okay. I forgot to mute my YouTube tab. Ah. Oh. Better late than never, though. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So that curled up nicely. I'm pretty pleased, I think, with that. All right. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, velvet time. It's velvet. It's velvet time. Did you guys like Flight of the Concords? Anyone? You're muted, Andy, again. I don't know if you knew that, so we can't hear you. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> Did you ever listen to Flight of the Concords? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh. Business time. You guys got to look it up. It's uh, probably one of their best songs. So the guy that wrote uh, Man or a Muppet, uh, he's the one of the guys from Flight of the Concords. And uh, Jermaine Clement is the other one. I can't remember both their names, but I remember Jermaine Clement. Um. He uh, is the one that did all, all of the songs for the movie Rio. So okay. If, so that when you, when you remember those two movies being up against each other in the Oscars for best song, um, that was like a, an actual competition between the two of them because they were business partners huh. and then went head to head. Brett. Brett is the other guy. Ooh, baby. So now you know. All right, so now I'm gonna you know. chop up this velvet and do it. I'm gonna do this the Barry Mortimer way. Hey Spike, that's really cool. That little birdie oh, thing. Thank you. <laughs> I am owl. Very wise owl. Oh. <laughs> toot, toot, toot. 
<laughs> he looks like a. He looks more like a yellow version of Toucan Sam. Yeah, he was trying to be a parrot, and but I needed an owl for my Winnie the Pooh show, so he kind of <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> so he's got pretty. <sighs> It was a no, great I appreciate that, Tiny Metal Trees. I'm glad that you tried to come on, but I'm glad we finally got to see one of your Tiny Metal Trees. Does he, he, she, do you sell them at all, your, your Tiny Little Trees? That would be really cool if you, if you have like an Etsy shop. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm just going to have to go for it and hot glue this on oh so, i have to make i have to fix one of the poos yes that's what i can do today. okay hot glue gun here you come oh wow you do a bad russian impression nice oh yeah that's a, that's his constantine impression <laughs> yeah. uh. Otherwise known as the uh, Kermit Emperor. The <laughs> the bad Kermit. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's a double entendre, by the way. All right, so. so turning that on. Yeah, something just went out there again. Yeah. Andy, what are, you, what are you sketching out there? Uh, this I'm tracing out the, uh, the base of the... Uh, for Mexican Army, after the one that makes all the noise. Oh, okay. So I get because I have to make this little cover plate that goes over to cover up all the uh, the original insignia. When Mike originally asked me to get this done for him, uh, he was going to send me a Hot Toys figure, and I was like, "Dude, those things are like three hundred and some bucks a piece. Like, um, why don't we go with this knockoff thing?" <laughs> and uh, nice. So. For ninety bucks, so he said that's a better idea. Let's get three of them. <laughs> so uh, they use the same molds as Hot Toys. You know what happens is like you go to China and you um, hire a factory to make your stuff. Yeah, and they take your molds and they make your stuff. They give you your order and then they print off a couple million for their own to sell in the black market at a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. And um, like market. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that's how you get to knock off Iron Man figures. Uh but in the end it's all good because eventually anybody that's getting into this hobby will probably buy uh a hot toys figure at some point. So do do you fix Marvel Legends or hot toys at all? Do you fix them um, all or you just I can it all depends on like you know how like what what's wrong with the figure. So I, I so I collect Marvel Legends. I have a big Marvel collection. Um, so I have a loss. You know those female Marvel Legend figures are like super breakable. You know. Right. And I had this this loss figure just flying. I have it tied up in my ceiling. The little chick, she's flying. And then one day the, the the string snapped and she fell down and her arm just snapped right off. And. I try to fix it as best as I can. I got sick and tired of trying to put a new peg in it. So I just hot glued it and called it a day. So I've, I've been trying to look for somebody to <laughs> fix it for me for the longest uh, time. You might be able might be able to do like a um a recast of the arm and then just swap it out. I don't know how it attaches though with the um uh if it's is like it a, a ball rigid. joint or is it a screw? Yeah, it's a ball joint. Let me go and get the figure. So, oh, <laughs> I was going to say this is a good moment to let you know, but uh, AJ just walked away. Yeah, I just walked away. <laughs> so, um, AJ, he's, Tiny Metal Tree says he only sells local right now. He does? Oh. Well, they're really cool. So I actually just came off the arm. So, but it's literally. <laughs> Flora, can you make him big? Yeah. Um, boom and boom. Boom, there we are. Oh, yeah. All right. So, oh, yeah, we'll, man. 
what we'd have to do is uh, all right let me see the the lower arm like what how it ties in there okay the yeah, is, is there a rivet or anything or is it just plastic there there was is, there was like a little the moving joint so you can go okay that far so it's it. just a 90 degree it's not actually a ball joint okay and there's, um, yeah, there's, there's not there wasn't do you have how does the, the other arm move i think that'll answer the question better it only moves the two the one way yeah do you have the broken pieces yeah that's 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 those arm okay all right so yeah. uh what you could probably do is take off the um the upper arm if that pops out i don't know it might maybe with some heat it might come out yeah i'm not gonna try it on here <laughs> yeah um and yeah, if that's the case, hot water over it to pop if right if that's out. the case we can we can re you can make a mold of the uh um the original and just recast and paint it and then you'll have a, a brand new arm uh, upper arm then you just put the other piece together in it and it should work all right I was thinking about buying a, a brand new one. It's they're only like seventeen dollars. Then uh, that's but definitely, like definitely the better way to go because, like, uh, to fix yeah. that, you know, with the uh, the silicone mold making material and the resin yeah. you need, uh, you're already about like thirty bucks in. Yeah, she's pretty scratched up, anyways, and her head's like all messed up. That's so loose. Yeah, that's that's the nice thing about like Marvel Legends is they are affordable. Yeah, those some. Uh, I've been looking at this Daredevil figure, and it's like around hundred dollars for the yellow suits and stuff. Yeah, see, that's, there's a. Um, I look at things like there's a price point of that I'm willing to go to, and where I'm willing not willing to go to. Uh, like a, there's like I do primarily six scale. Yeah, and um, for the most part. There, there's a lot of the figures that you can get that are uh, like there's third party figures, and like mm -hmm. that's really the whole the whole thing I try to do on my channel is to show people how to make your own stuff, so you're not like at the mercy of you know a big company. And you know the big companies really don't mind so much because eventually, like you're popularizing the um, the medium, and what will happen is people will eventually discover <clears throat> like a hot toys figure and say, yeah, I got to have that. And, um, and there's other, there's other figures too, that like hot toys would just never make like lesser known characters. And a lot of these third party companies are just cleaning up like that. Um, making like, I, I have a, uh, uh, classic suit green goblin. Oh yeah. That, uh, hot toys were never made because it just probably wouldn't be profitable for them. They just wouldn't sell enough to make make the money back on it. So, um, yeah, it's uh, but they're expensive. Like even oh. even the third party ones are expensive. But um, it all depends what you're into. For sure, for sure. I just started collecting them. I I only bought like the Netflix Daredevil. Yeah. That was my first one. And then I was like probably like 16 when I bought them. So it's a while ago. And the 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 the, the, um, the clubs they broke. They broke in half. Yeah. Because the figure just fell fell fall over all the time and it just breaks. And so I just I went and buy the new one and then I figured out, oh my gosh, that's like freaking expensive. Yeah, did you not grab any of those stands from China, like where you can actually stand, hold the figure up? I should buy a stand. That's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> or make them. <laughs> or make um, them. now, because you can. Uh, what you do? I have wire stands. I have one. I made wire stands for them to fly. I'm gonna take you over to my my Marvel Legends shelf. Oh, well, here's. Um, so I made like wire for like yeah. flying characters, you know. Yeah. So it's like Spider Man. I don't know what he's doing, but that's it's literally what I got right now. You can do basically the, same the thing. exact same thing that Andy's showing up. Yeah. 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 So what you do is like you can you can get a piece of wire and a little tube. Yeah. And you put it on a base like this. Okay. And you get this guy here. You just bend it. What you do is you take a um 
a piece of wood and you drive two nails into it and you put your wire in there and uh, you know what hang on i'll show you Welcome to the puppet building stream where you never know what you're going to learn. <laughs> We're going to learn about action figure stands, folks. <laughs> it's a fun fact about me. I, I collect Marvel Legends. Except Dude, if, you, if you knew everyone that uh, I follow, they all have like their toy shelves. I got one box of toys. Yes, this it. is kind of big, but you get the idea. So you take this, you got this is for like heavier uh, yeah. gauge stuff. You put this in here and then you just bend it like against that and it will mm -hmm. give you a perfect angle of what you want. So you would obviously for something of this gauge, you wouldn't need very much at all. And a, a couple little nails will, will give you enough, enough support to make it happen. So you put that in there <clears throat> and you just bend that around and then you'd have this. And what you can do here is you take um, the same kind of thing where you um, you put it around a uh, um, something round and you put the, the nail in against it and you just kind of like bend it around that and then that's how you get your, your nice rounded piece there like that and I mean obviously it doesn't have to be like this this precise yeah. to hold it on there but like you, know, you put it on and you could just like uh, you could probably take pieces of wood and just drill into it and then slide these in and that would hold all your figures the way you wanted them so all right that's really cool i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing that yeah it's a it's a cheaper way to go and you can pick up the the wire i mean yeah cheaper if you build like a hundred yeah <laughs> that's the, but that's the key but well, at the same time though because aj is making all the puppets he would have all the wire so yeah, i do i do a lot of wire so i yeah so there you go. So that, there, there you go. So I guess that's, that's the, every puppeteer should be a toy collector. You know that's how it works. Exactly. There we go. That turned out pretty okay. Everybody should be a toy collector. Can't really I, see just because of the lighting, but I got I got, a, I got a whole wall right here. <laughs> look at that. Look at the ridge of that mouth, boys. <laughs> Toothpicks. There you go. I well, like that. Worked. That's dope. That's cool. That is really cool. <laughs> you know what you should do is take, take like um like a sharpie or a marker and kind of like do some detail work when when you're all oh yeah no that's the plan oh, I was, I yeah i'm gonna do that yeah but did i ever show you the um uh the dinosaur i made mm, like a puppet no. dinosaur like not like a sculpture what kind of dinosaur? Uh, i made it out of um eva foam for a friend of mine he uh <clears throat> he put it on his um his son's birthday party i don't think he did Dragon Master is pretty silent. He's been silent for a long time. Maybe he died. Are you okay, Dragon Master? He's muted. Well, he's muted. Maybe he's worried about his own uh, echo. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. How do I want this mouth to open? Do I want the mouth to be able to open kind of like what I did with Giggity? Okay, I need to is, it, is, it, is, it, is that a reference to um, Dark Crystal? Family Guy? No, it's Crit Dark Crystal. So you, you've seen Dark Crystal? Yes, of course. Of course so you know the, so the Fizz Gig. Um, someone in uh, the Cotton Connection, Her she uses basically a Fizz Gig. Um, as uh, her main puppet she broke her replica and so i built her a new one but it's like pink and purple i might have a picture i can show you um let's see anyway, anyway, all right this different set of profile altogether photos i could probably pull up 
Snow is most recent stream too. Um, so in a nutshell, share screen, don't need audio. So that's what I did. Oh, cool. Wow. So uh, <clears throat> I might be able to f actually, I might have a video. Did, did you, did you make that nose? Um, the 3D printer? Yeah, print that's, that's or... foam. I, foam? I tried to buy them, like just dog noses. Yeah, I, I got them. They're all of way too small. Um, yeah. So let's see here. That's a better shot right there. Yeah. Might have a better video. I have a character with, with that nose. Um, this guy's one like brand new guy. So you haven't made you haven't make any appearance. So this is your first time I'm seeing this brand new character. Mr. Yeah, Honey well. Badger. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, that's great. Love the teeth. Yeah, so that was uh, quite a bit of work, but so yeah, so like it can actually swallow things. So oh, that's even <laughs> dope. Oh yeah. So that's an actual uvula. <laughs> so it's actually hanging there. So you can fit something probably like this. I mean, it can definitely swallow like pens and like toy apples and those kinds of things. Um, so the way I did the teeth is I cut out the foam and then I use toothpicks to kind of just lodge them into place. Okay. And so I hot glued because that way too, if something happens to the teeth, you can easily just replace it because it's just hot glue. So, but the toothpaste or toothpick is in there. So it's, they're easily replaceable. If something happens, the tongue is just uh, upholstery foam that I just sat for an hour and just colored with a red Sharpie. Um, but yeah, cutting out all of these individual teeth and gluing them in, that was such a, painstaking process but it looks obviously really good in in action as it's going so but anyway that's awesome oh and i never seen a purple like a purple pink version it's always black or okay gray. i just i just dm'd you the uh the dinosaur head oh the, the raptor head the raptor okay. hey, sure, if uh, i just go guys. into our yeah yeah. Um, yelling at our cars is starting, so I'll see y'all later. Alrighty, have a see good you, Dragon night. Master. Thanks for coming on, man. No problem. Uh, see you later, Andy. Oh, dude, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that was that was fun. It was um. Oh wow, that's cool. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Soldering iron and uh, EVA foam and you know layers. Yep. Yeah, that was that was fun. What did you do the eye out of? Is it glass? Like, he bought it. Uh, he, he bought, he bought it. the uh, he bought the eye. He was he was trying to make one. Uh, he did a pretty good job of, of doing like a, a fiberglass body uh, for the dinosaur for his his son's party, and uh, so I didn't actually. He gave me these measurements to go off of, and uh, the head actually came out too big for it. But he's got, <laughs> still has the head, but it's uh, it just didn't look right on it. But, but that um, would look amazing as a wall mount. Yeah, well, that's what he did. He had uh, he had the kids' party, and like he had the uh, his pool house, and the kids would go. And he had this uh, curtain set up, and as the kids would rub, run by, he would um, have the dinosaur head jump out while he played like uh, uh, raptor noises on his phone. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! That's awesome. So obviously, the mouth does hinge like that. Yeah, yeah. I put it in there with a. Uh, I made a an aluminum box basically and put in like two, two aluminum trays, uh, like a uh, kick plate, like aluminum uh, yep. sheet metal and bent, bent it around and uh, hinged it. So it, it was framed inside the, uh, the mouth. Dude, that's, that's phenomenal. It was fun. That's dope. That's dope. So you never know what you can do until you try. It's true. And that's the nice thing about EVA foam. It's so forgiving. Yeah. But can look so good. Well, I look at those uh, guys use that to make Iron Man armor. 
And yeah. it's freaking amazing. Ooh. Have I showed you my um, Nerf War setup that we did? No. No? Okay, I'll see if I can find that because... And I never save it because I'm an idiot. Unless maybe <laughs> I did save it. Um... Oh, man. Well, guys, I got to get going. Uh, I got you got a busy day tomorrow. Got to got to film one one of my movies, but um, yeah, you got. I, I, I'm Good lucky I came you. on. I thank goodness I can pop on one of these. I always I'm always busy when you're doing these. Yeah, no, I'm glad that you're able to show up. So, guys, subscribe to the Toppets and uh, show AJ the love. It's TJ. You've been calling me TJ. AJ. <laughs> I keep thinking it was AJ. Why do I think it's AJ? Oh. Uh, sorry, TJ. It's all good. I, but I thank you for finally correcting me. I, I thought it was funny. I was wondering how long it was. <laughs> you call me, you can call me AJ, and then you call me TJ, and then you can call me Spike. And I'm like, now okay. you know what's going to happen. He's going to he's going to make that mistake on purpose all the time. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I was just waiting for like the good times to bring that up. Can you, can you always say you're saying TJ, and then you went to AJ. Oh, look at that. So this isn't the this isn't the most recent one. But wow. uh, so I made the Winter Soldier arm. Cool. And then the Iron Man I suit I did make, except for the helmet. I bought the hel helmet because the helmet I made was way too small. Oh. And then I made the Cap helmet, <laughs> and the, the Captain America shield is just a pool noodle and a rubies thing. But I made the Thor um, chest plate, and I made Melnir. Wow. Um, and I did make my own Infinity Gauntlet with. Uh, foam and a hockey helmet or hockey glove. Is that rocket um, right there? Did you make the mask for rocket? Rocket. Uh, I did that's make rocket one year. I don't know where you're talking about. Is that above the Winter Soldier? Is that what I'm seeing? No, or that's just that? he was just being Phil Coulson. Um, oh. No, but I did make rocket out of a stuffed dog, and we found a Halloween costume that was like for like a skanky girl raccoon costume. Okay. So we just put that on the, the stuff dog. <laughs> and so then when I made the Groot costume, um, the guy could have a, a functioning blaster. So the stuff oh, dog right. was holding the blaster so Groot could hold Rocket. And he also had a pool noodle as he was running around. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, That's so it's pretty – they were like the best head. Nerf Wars ever. But anyway, I'm gonna have head a out. good one, T TJ. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you, bud. Be good. All right, we'll do. How do <laughs> and then there were two. Okay. Okay. All righty. So I'm all set up for that. Okay, I gotta run out to the store and get my dog some baby food. Uh, All she eats is baby food anymore. Why is dying? Uh, well, she's eleven and she's been having pancreatitis, and uh, uh, she, um, yeah, she's everything she was eating. She was uh, would make her vomit bile. Uh. So tried everything, and so now she's been eating baby food. And she, well, she just started on. Um, non-fat yogurt <clears throat> she's eating it. and this dog used to eat everything like you know, anything fell on the floor boom she'd have it yeah uh, yellow lab and she was just like you know happy as can be to help you out with anything on the floor now she's like you know jars of baby food and it's getting i'm spending more on baby food for my dogs than i ever spent on my kids <laughs> <laughs> so so but i gotta get at the walmart before they close no nope, fair enough well thanks for jumping right. on thanks for jumping having me on all righty right. see you brother have a good one. And then there was one where working on the mouth. So someone else is uh, building something and they want to jump on. I know that yelling with park cars has started. So if you want to jump over there, I don't care if you want this just playing in the background. I don't know how much longer I'll be going. Probably just finish off this uh, bottom part of the mouth and then uh, call it a night. But, uh, I just want to see how that's going to line up because I'm going to have to try and draw that on. Um, so if 
feel like that's in an okay spot. It's a little short on the one side. You know what? I'll draw it and then I'll fix it. So, here's the plan. So, draw. Is the yellow showing up? It's not showing up at all. to do it this way. Pop that off. Okay. So we can see how that's actually sit, gonna sit. And so I wanna make that even. And so where's the bottom of the plate? There it is. So we're seeing how that's going to be. So I want that consistent distance. Scissors, where did my good scissors go? Right there. Some of us are watching both. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Mrs. Flu, for the love. My computer decided to go through a, a slideshow of all my pictures, which is kind of fun. Seeing some of those old pictures of my kids. All right. So, I'm going to do this differently. Where is my spray glue? Spray glue, spray glue, spray glue. Little spray glue, where are you? Where did it go? Apparently that's not going to be an option. That sucks. really sucks. Normally it's right here. Okay. No spray glue. So going different. Oh. Never mind. It was right there. Because I'm an idiot. All right, I will put this out of the way. I will put this here as buffer. Apparently that need, nozzle needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so, got my phone all tacky. That sucks. 
Oh, hello, Punkwada. It was the was the worst. I may even have to make a short with the cut conduit line. The tech fund. Yeah, you should. Yeah. No. Well, actually, here's the thing about these uh, puppet builds. They're great for those watch hours. So trying to get those up. Clean that off. Get this ah! <laughs> Don't spray it while you're cleaning it. Like an idiot. Right. Lid on. And then when that's tacky, I can put it together. All right. Yeah, so where are we at right now? Because I haven't actually checked the sub count today i don't think where are we at folks where are we at 358 still all right okay so we're just waiting for this to get tacky yeah um, I don't know how well it's going to stick at all. But you know what I am going to do right now, just because I want it to, it says 358 for me. Yeah, so we're, we're at the same, same level. Okay, so I just want to build that up a little bit in there, just so it doesn't roll. I want it to stay. You know what they say about hot glue guns? It's hot. So hot right now. Okay. Oh, just because of this ridge, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit tricky. Still needs to dry a little bit longer. All right. So, so this is the um, club for Wilton. I'm actually gonna do what I was thinking I'd do earlier. I'm just gonna be trimming it off because I thought that that was actually gonna be the club handle, but that's not going to work. So I won't bother doing that. Instead, I'll be putting this down and then making a template basically. I think that's how I'll do it. And then I'll roll something into it. So, because if you guys remember when I built Wilton, I said, everyone said he needs a club. And so for the movie, club. Show that ink on your finger. I have ink on my finger. This one, my ring. It's my wedding ring. So everyone says, why does your finger say 181? But really, it's the infinity symbol with a, with a band. However, what I'll do is if my wife is there, I'll be like, and they don't realize that she's my wife, I will say, well, we were married for 181 days, and then she died. And then she gets mad, she hits me. So, all right, that's tacky. That's tacky too, so that's what we want. So now we're gonna. Oh, maybe I should start on this end here. See if that works better. Crap, I went up at the wrong line. Yep. <laughs> Use the wrong line. Oh, no. All right. All right. 
There we go. That's sitting nicer. Look at that. Look at would you would you look at that? Would, would, would you look at that? Clubbing with Wilton. That is awful, lol. Yes, it is. And funny. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. It's it's together. Where is my needle? He a needle? Who a needle? Ha. Punk waddle sa. Ha. All right. So. There we go. So his mouth will hide those teeth a little bit. Does the puppet have a name yet? No, he doesn't. He doesn't even have the inside of his mouth done yet, really. Like it's. So how could he have a name? Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking, though. I'm really liking how that's looking. Because I wanted him to have a bit of that pointed snout. And uh, so his eyes are going to be somewhody around here-ish. Trying to think how I want to do the snout. Like, I'm thinking, like, even if it's just grabbing some of this stuff and just kind of, like, Curling it and attaching it. I may as well try it. Doesn't hurt. I'm giving it like a 45 degree. Because if that can sit like I like to have a bit of that curl too. So the nose would kind of sit like that. So when you get that side profile, you'd actually see the nostril. And kind of just stick out there. 
Unless it should be the other way. Should it be the other way? Some just gave. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm gonna look a uh... dragon. Do it. Lord of the Rings there, whatever it is. That's not what I want. I just want a dragon. All right. Show me a dragon nose. That's a good one. Good image. Okay, so I'm doing it the wrong way. So, you all put a tube so you could little puffs of smoke. I thought about doing that, but then you have to have something to make smoke. And I don't want to do that. Um, so basically what I got to try and do is create something like that ridge right there. Which would mean taking this off and actually reversing this all together. So you stick it in. Like so take that out. Curl it. That looks better. I can remember that looks better. All right. So there we go. So that is an intense dragon, is it not? All right, so now, oh, geez, the light. So if I curl in the nostril like that, um, again, this is just not the final piece. It's just scrap that I'm experimenting with. So I'd probably actually just use like the upholstery foam to, to do this. But I wanted to get like that hard visual representation so yeah that's a targaryen dragon that's from lord of the or i keep saying lord of the rings that's not lord of the rings um i've never actually watched game of thrones don't ever plan to um yeah okay so that's has settled that part of it and then the eyebrows slash eyes so i'm debating oh didn't want to do that so these eyes i'm thinking like so And I'm th I guess so I can visualize it like that. So that I would sit somewhere like that. You can't even really see it. It's too, uh, so put the slit on, probably color it yellow on the back. All right. So. I don't know how much that would show up. Does that show up? Not enough. So paint it yellow. Give it that look that I want. Attach the eye. Give it the the eyebrow ridge. I want to. I do want to build this part of the head out a little bit more because I don't want it to be as narrow, right? Because it's kind of small especially for the mouth. But 
Anyway, that's the visual representation of what we're going for here is that. So I think with that, we're at two hours and 10 minutes and it's 1030. I need to clean up a little bit down here so that there's no sharp objects for young children. Cat's eye marble. No, it's actually just clear resin. Um, that's all it is. Oh, you mean a cat's eye marble? Use the marble. No, that would be. Um, too much like it's uh yeah I, and it wouldn't be big enough and then i'd have to order like a box of marbles and that's not what i want to have around my house <laughs> With, especially the way my kids play so i would die um anyway so i think that's that i think that's how we'll end it for tonight is uh just right there we got the mouth plate done got them attached got the kind of outline with the fabric and all that got the nose kind of figured how it's going to sort of go until next time folks i want to thank you so much for joining and have a great rest of your day and um in the words of my daughter have a good night and don't let anybody take you floral going to pronounce some marbles you know it. All right. Toodles, folks. Love you. Goodbye.